there everyone. Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. It has been a while, hasn't it? Life just gets busy, I suppose. What are we going to be doing today? Well, um, I saw another artist on YouTube doing a new technique, a variation of a Dutch pour, and I thought I'd give it a try today. But the materials I'm using today are quite a bit different to what this artist used, so I have no idea how it's going to work out. But yeah, we'll see. That's half the fun of doing pour painting, isn't it? Trying something and see what pops out at the end. Well, the canvas I'm going to be using today is this 45 centimeter square thick edge canvas. And just like I always do, I taped off the back with some painter's tape and I hammered in some giant push pins I got from my local office works store just to keep the canvas off the surface of the table. Makes it really easy to handle. And then I also made sure my canvas was nice and tight so the paint doesn't pool in the middle. And the canvas, of course, is level because my table is level. The last thing you want is your paint sliding off um, as it's drying. OK, so what paints are we going to be doing today? Well, I'm going to be doing like a flower design using a bit of a Dutch pour and a bit of spinning as well. And I'm going to be using Montmartre colours mostly. I'm using Montmartre Titanium White to do the base of my painting. And then for the colours, the centre of the flower is going to be gold. And then the other colours around about, I'm using all blues. So I'm using Montmartre Cerulean Blue. And I'm using their Thalo Blue. And then I've got some um, Araldo colours, uh, metallic colours that I'll put in as well. Maybe a mistake, but yeah, we'll see how they how they work. I've got their metallic ocean blue and metallic waves, just to give a, a bit of interest to to the painting. And then I'm thinning out all of my paint using Australian flow troll. Now I'm using one part paint to one part flow troll. And then I've mixed in enough water to give myself a nice thin consistency. And I'll show you the consistency I'm using for that in a bit. Now, the artist I saw on YouTube was using Amsterdam paints and just thinning them out with water. So my mix is quite a bit different to the mix that she used. But yep, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's get started. Well, here we are. This is my canvas and this is the, the little blow dryer that I'm going to be using. I don't like using the really huge blow dryers because they pump out too much air and paint just goes everywhere. So this is a travel blow dryer. And I, I think I have a bit more control over it. But whatever dryer you use, make sure it has a cool button on it. You don't want to blow hot air over your paint and variable speed there. And it's got one of these heads on it that splits the air out sideways. Don't know much about hair dryers, but this works the best for for painting. OK, we'll come back to that in a minute. See if it works. No, it doesn't. Oh, I have to plug it in. OK. Hey, now it works. OK, now I'll just show you the consistency of the paint. Now the white background it's going to be a little bit thicker than I would normally use for a normal Dutch pour. But the artist I saw on YouTube kept her base a bit thicker as well. So it's still really thin. I don't like it a mound of paint on the surface when I pour it off the spoon, but it's not water thin either. And then my colours are really thin, are much thinner. They're not, again, not like water, but... They, they dribble really easily off my wooden stick there and I, they don't leave a mound at all when they dribble into the, back into the paint. So it's really thin. If it's too thick, your blow dryer is not going to blow the paint anywhere. All right, now the first step, I think, is to put the white on the canvas. Now I'll keep it reasonably thick this time. Usually I tip it so it's quite thin. But I need to be able to spin it out later. So I'll keep it probably a little bit thicker than I would normally use. If 
I've probably mixed up way too much white. I did. I've got like twice as much as I need, but I can always do another painting. Okay, now I'll spread it out. Now normally I tip it over the edges to cover the sides as well, but I think we're spinning. It's going to go over the edge anyway. And I can always touch up some of the edges later. So I'll just spin it out. It's really thin, so it'll level itself out later. I will go to the edge, just like so. You can see it's really, really thin. And make sure it's like reasonably covered there, maybe a little bit too thick there. I'll just shove a bit off. And you don't want too much paint left on the canvas either. Because it, it'll have nowhere to go when you blow it out. And it may crack when it dries. How are we looking? Yeah, good. I think. Good, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll soon find out. Okay. So that's quite thick. I'll give it a bit of a torch to pop air bubbles. Okay. Hmm. Now the fun, fun begins. Um, I'm going to put all most of my colours in the middle for the centre of the flower, and then I'll put the petal colour colours around the outside. You, you'll soon see how that works. Okay, I'll start off with really dark colour, my phthalo blue. I'll put into the centre. like so and then I'll put this other blue into the center as well and then I'll do the gold Hopefully that's enough. Now the lighter blues, I'll put in some rings around the outside. Like that. So that was another metallic and then just a normal Montmartre blue I'll put a ring around that I will do it on the top like that I don't know if that's going to work but we will see and then I'll just put a little bit of white around that So we've got something for the colour to slide on, like so. Okay. Ooh, scary. Now, am I in the middle, more or less? Now, we'll get the, the blow dryer out. 
and see if that works. I seem to have more paint there than I do there, but anyway. Now I'll do a low setting first. If it's not powerful enough, I'll do the higher speed setting. Might do it higher. Ooh, no. Okay, plenty of paint there. Now I do want to bring those petals in a little bit. I'll just use my finger. Bring it into the, the middle like that. Okay, now I'll just pause the camera and I'll bring you down to the floor where my spinning thing is and we will spin out the painting and see what happens. Right, so here, here is my painting and I'll just put it on my spinner. It's just a plastic band, ceramic banding wheel but you can use a Lazy Susan, whatever works the best for you. Okay, we'll give it, oh, that's not the middle. Let's see if I can get it sort of in the middle. Not quite. Almost. I do want to get it in the middle if I can. Shall we spin it and see what happens? Okay. Maybe a little more. Is that looking I think I did use too much paint on my canvas oh, I don't know if I should spin it anymore probably not No, I won't. I won't spin it anymore. Oh, well, that's sort of basic. The basic idea of a flower. Um, I'll put it back on the table and I'll bring you in for a closer look. Okay, here's the flower. I think it's not too bad for a first try. Just bring you down. So that's the center, and then we have the petals. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had way too much paint on my canvas. So next time I will use a lot less paint. And see if that makes a difference. So what did you think of that first try? I think it turned out rather interesting and there's certainly some things I'll do differently with the next one just to see if it works. Now I think I'll, I've got enough paint here to do another one I think so I'll film the next one and I'll, I'll combine the two together so you can see how they turned out. But I'll just give me a minute to prepare and we'll be back soon. So here we are again with a fresh canvas ready for our second try. Now the first one turned out okay um, but I think it can be much better. I had just way too much paint on the canvas um, and I think the flow troll too created probably more cells and lacing than I would have liked but since I've already got my paint mixed up I'll just have to make do with that but I think just using water and paint you'll get fewer cells happening because flow troll has oils in it okay now I'll put paint on my canvas again but I will do it thinner this time than last time. Now I'll spread it out with my palette knife and then I will tip it this time. way too much. Now I will tilt it. Makes it nice and level at the same time as well. This way. I know it's not very exciting to look at, but no, and then I'll bring it down to this side. Now hopefully I won't do it too thin this time. Because that's always the mis the mistake that can happen. little paint and then you can't blow it anywhere. Yeah, we're almost there. Just getting this last corner. Cool. All right. Now I'll give it a little bit of a torch to pop air bubbles. I'll touch up the sides later if necessary. Hopefully you can still see that. I'll just have a peek. Yep, yeah, that's fine. All right. Now, colors. Yes, I'll put the dark blue on first. But possibly not as much as I did last time. Maybe like so. And then the metallic and 
and then the gold. Okay, not as much as last time. I've got enough paint for another one. I'm not doing another one. And then we've got the rings around the outside. just to help everything move. Ah, okay, I'll do, try the low setting again. lost my petals there. Now let me see where I can draw my petals. fingers are too fat. Mm. Mm. I've this very abstract flower, this one. one big one I might okay hmm. I don't know how this will work but 
we shall see. I'll bring it down to the spinner and we'll see how it works. Okay, here we are again. Let's make sure that gold is in the middle. It's not. How about now? Not quite. Almost. Oh. Okay, shall we spin? Too bad. I'll spin the other way. Okay, maybe not enough paint this time. But yeah, I want to spin a bit more. I do want to get some more out to the edges. I don't like some of these bits here, so I just want to spin them off the canvas if I can. Almost, almost, almost. with the spinning perhaps oh, a little more there's a little bit here I want to get rid of
that it's a very abstract flower, but yeah, I think that looks that looks nice. Not what I was expecting, but I think that looks nice. I can hardly call it a flower anymore, but I did get rid of the bits I really didn't didn't like. Maybe a few little touches up here and there, possibly. I may wreck it if I want to touch it up, but okay, I'll put it on the table and I'll bring you in for a closer look. Hopefully you can see that. I've got the camera above my head. That will come down. So there's the center. It's certainly a very, very abstract flower. And I think the design is interesting. And we've got some interesting cells happening in the painting. zooming around so what did you think of that second one which one was your favorite the first one with too much paint on the canvas or the second one with probably not enough paint on the canvas. Well, it's certainly a technique that I'm going to have to practice. I'll probably try to get aim for something in between on my canvas. And I'll use the higher setting on my blow dryer. I think that'll work better to get the, the petals happening. And maybe use water instead of flow troll to thin out my paint and I don't get as many cells happening. But it certainly has promise. And it's something I'll keep practicing with. And perhaps when I perfect it a bit more, I'll do another video just to show you how far I've come. Well, is it a technique you'd like to have a try? Perhaps you'd like to share in the comments below how you went when you gave it a go. Anyway, that's the end of the video, I'm afraid. I hope you learned something new today and you were entertained and perhaps inspired to try something yourself. As usual, if you enjoyed what you liked today, please press the like button. Um, it helps my content get found on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a, a moment to subscribe. Well, I, I hope you have a really good week ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.